This question tests our ability to find our location using VORs. The question asks, what is your approximate position on low altitude airway Victor 1 if the VOR receiver indicates you're on the 340 degree radial of Elizabeth City VOR? The most common way to find a VOR is to find the compass rows, which is almost hidden with this Class C airspace also indicated here. But here is our Norfolk VOR, and airways uh, extend from the VORs connecting two VORs. And this question says Victor 1 southwest of Norfolk VOR, and here it is. Here's Victor 1, which is like a highway in the sky. So we're somewhere along Victor 1, and what we need to do is draw a line from the Elizabeth City VOR, 340 degree radial, and this is magnetic. VORs point to magnetic north, not true north. So we'll just draw a line here. So we'll start the line at the Elizabeth City VOR, and we want to cross that line at 340 degrees magnetic here. So here's 330 degrees, it's hard to read here, so I'm going to count from 360, 350, 345, 340. About there is where it crosses. So I'm just going to extend this line like so. So it crosses uh, Victor 1 here. So now that I've drawn this line, we need to measure the distance that we've flown from the Norfolk Vortac from here down to here. What I'm going to do is just hold a piece of paper up to the chart and make a line, make a mark for that distance on Victor 1 that I've flown from the Norfolk VOR. And I'm just going to hold that back up to the chart on my longitude lines because we know every minute of longitude is one nautical mile. And I'm reading here that this is 18 miles, 18 nautical miles long. Because when I compare that distance on my sectional chart with the minutes of longitude, it's 18 little tick marks long, and that's 18 nautical miles.